who are first team manager Chris Search after a defeat here at home to Oxford. First of all, Search, your overall thoughts on the performance? Um, I thought the performance was good. Um, you know, I, I thought we, 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 we were the better side um, overall. I thought uh, up until they scored, we were certainly the better side. Um, and the entire second half, um, we were the better side. But unfortunately, um, you know, the old adage, um, goals change games and whatever else. And that certainly was the case here. You know, like it's two, two sloppy goals from us. Um, pretty much um, sums our season up, I think, to an extent. I think if, uh, if a neutral had turned up today to, to, watch, uh, to watch the match and watch the 90 minutes, they would have gone away and, and we could have said that's a typical sort of Concord performance, you know. You know, we, 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 we felt that we worked hard, I felt that we had good territory, I thought that we played well. But the goals we conceded, uh, you know, I try to alleviate this word from my vocabulary, but this naivety that we've got amongst the group is uh, is seeping back in. And, you know, it's very frustrating to see that today. You know, the, the, the first goal, you know, we passed the ball out well and then we've got to spin it in behind, we try to overplay, we lose possession. Um, and the second goal was just that you know the detail on on the pass back to Miles and him then passing it back into Blackie and not checking your shoulders. You know we we invited uh, invited the press and we uh, and rightly they, they they've gone and sort of they've got at us and, and you know we've considered the free kick and to be fair the kid he's, he's clipped it top bins and you can't argue with that. But you know the the, the two goals are, are hugely avoidable. You know and it's it's very frustrating. Of course, early on in the first half, we had Pollock go off with an injury. Nana later on in the first half. Any updates on that? No, I think, uh, I think uh, Aaron's obviously, we, we've been nursing him the last few weeks. and You know, his hamstring just doesn't feel 100%. Uh, Nana, we're not so sure. We, we will ice it up and see where we are for Tuesday. Um, so, fingers crossed on that front. Um, but, you know, we've got boys that are going to, you know, will be more than capable of jumping in. So, not necessarily worried about that. You know, one, one door closing and uh, it gives an opportunity to someone else. So, we'll, we'll, we'll be fine for uh, for the game Tuesday. Of course, we're touching a positive. Of course, Tammy Babalo, they're hitting a good run of form, isn't he, recently? Yeah, Tammy, um, Tammy's showing great character. You know, like as I said before, you know, um, you know, he's, he struggled for, to hold down a, a, a slot, if you like. He, he came in on, on Tuesday against Laos. Um, I thought we'd done okay, um, but it seems that he's doing much better as a substitute at the moment. If I'm honest, you know he's making uh, you know really good impact. But his application, his energy, you know, I said it before and I'll say it again that his, his energy on the on the substitutes bench, even though he's substitute, is uh, is brilliant. You know, he's encouraging his teammates, and it's it's really important that that energy uh, is shown by others as well because. He's been a credit to himself and a credit to his club, um, and and you know comes on and and gets the goal. So uh, you know I'm, I'm pleased with Tony. Of course, moving on from today, we've got two games remaining now left of the season. Is six points the expectation to finish the season strongly? Uh, you know me, I, I expect us to get a result against everyone and anyone. So six points is a must for me. You know I, I thought we'd have got a reaction against Slough. I expected us to get something today. I felt we should have got something today. You know, but. As I said before, um, and I said at the start of the interview, if we're going to keep conceding naive goals as we are and, and not playing with a tempo and the energy that maybe we showed second half, then, and, and, and starting as we, you know, it's, it's, I, don't, I said to the boys, I don't know if it's saying within the character, within the group, but it takes us to be 2 0 down and argue with the game gone for, for, for the boys to step up. Um, you know, I need I need men from the off. You know, men to have that same mindset that they showed being two 0 down with nothing to lose when it's nil nil. That same energy, the same the same application, the same focus. And it's it, as I said, it's, it's, it's something that's, it just baffles me. And I'm not sure if it's a psychological problem or what, but it's something that we need to address because you know we we've gone toe to toe with a team as we've done against Ebsley, um in the playoffs, and we've more than held our own. You know, today we today. I feel the boys deserve to absolutely get something, you know. And, and, and on another day, we should have got the win, you know. I felt that we we were um, we were the better side overall. Just two stupid um, goals conceded um, as as cost us today. Lovely. Cheers, Sachin. Thank you.